Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Very nice prediction trick, which I'm going to try make into a double prediction trick. Lucky you, unlucky me, you'll see why as the trick goes on. Right, what I need to do is get a prediction, obviously. So I'm going to have a little shifty through the pack, and I'm going to take out three cards, which are going to act as my predictions, right? Yeah, and I'm not letting you see them, because that's cheating. And nobody likes cheats. Yeah, I'll go for that one. If you see any of these cards, by the way, tell me so I can stop and start again. Uh, yeah. Uh, I did say three, didn't I? Let's see, you need one more. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Right, so I've taken three cards. As you can see, only three cards, and they're my predictions. Right. Now what I need is you to pick a card. Because obviously you can't make a... If I make a prediction, there's got, there's got to be a prediction for something, hasn't it? So I want you to pick a card, so I'll riffle the pack and you tell me when to stop. You know the script by now. Stop about there, okay. So the first card you've gone and picked is the Ten of Hearts. The Ten of Hearts. <clears throat> okay, carrying on with the trick. I said it was going to be a double one. Pick another card. Again, I'll riffle down, you say stop. There, okay. So this time you've gone and got a Jack of, jack of Bloody Clubs. It's from bad to worse, this. you got a ten of hearts and a jack of clubs. Right. Now, I said at the beginning I was picking three cards to be my little prediction. And I picked three cards to be my prediction. And then you've gone and picked two cards to be your choices. Okay, right. Choice number one. The ten of hearts. Well, I've got the spin right. I don't know about anything else, but I've got that spin right. Let's see. I'll give it a tap and give it a click. And if I pass it through my hands... We'll see that we've got one, two, and three tens, plus your ten. Makes four. How's that? How's that? I got the prediction right, didn't I? Now it just started to dawn on me what I've actually done to myself. Because I've put my three, prediction, my three predictions back down and stick your ten on top of the packet. And to make sure I can't touch it, I'll cover it with the box. Now, if the box moves, you know I'll touch that packet. Right. Um, jack of clubs. Right. What I've got to do is swap these cards for them in there. You know, just one at a time. But I've got to do it so quick and shady that you don't even know what's going on. And hopefully you didn't see what happened there. But if I give it a tap and give it a click, and tap and a click, and tap and a click, and tap and a click... I could go on all night like this because I think I've messed big. Tap and a click, tap and a... Okay, I'll pack it in, get on with the trick. Give it a tap and I'll give it a click and I'll pass that through me and now. We see that I actually did get the second prediction right. Because once again, there was three jacks. And there was the fourth. So there's one jack, two jack, three jack and four jack. Hi, jack. No, okay. Um, yeah, four jacks. Got it to work. I like who? No, I'm not cheating. I, I can hear you. I can. You're saying I'm cheating. And then what I've actually done is put them all on top of the pack. Well, you see me putting the Ten of Hearts on top of the pack, didn't you? You see me doing that. But no other Tens went down on that pack with it. None at all. And hopefully, there shouldn't be no Tens anywhere in the pack. Because I had time to get the jacks out, but I didn't get enough time to put the tens back in. Instead, I actually got the tens. To go inside the box. Nothing else in there. So, how do you like that then? Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. I do, honestly. I do honestly hope you've enjoyed that. I did to an extent where I thought it near, but then ah, I knew the trick. Do you, want to, you want to know the trick as well, don't you? I know you should do. You should die until I end this one. Right, what I'll do then is I'll sort out all my mess here and show you exactly how it's done. So give us one minute and, well, maybe, yeah. See, now, right, what you need for this trick? You need a packet of cards, complete and full packet of cards. A card box and some cards out of this packet. 
use whatever ones you want. But take four of one kind and take four of the other kind. Right? So whatever ones you want to use, take four of each. Then whichever one you want to use, take out three more of them from another pack obviously because you don't have duplicates in the same packet. Don't be silly. No, don't be silly. Right. So you need all four of them, all four of them, and three duplicates of them. Okay? With me so far. Which one's the the spade has definitely got to go in the box because I have not got another spade. Right? So now these are all paired up. Yeah? So that goes into the box with any other two that you want. So the one that you haven't got goes in the box with any of the other two. Doesn't matter. I'll get rid of them into the box right now. One less thing for me to bloody worry about. So they go in your box, right? One more thing that you do need along with your box. A false box top. With a card on the back. A magnet in so it'll stick into place. You want to know how to learn you want to learn how to make that? I'll put a link up here taking it to Gaft Academy and where he shows you how to make it. Right? A nice little plug for you there, Bob. Peter Paperclip. No, you're printer now, aren't you? Peter the printer. Right. I'll private joke. He, he'll slate me. He, he will, he'll slate. No, he loves me, honestly, he does, he loves me. Right. So what you do then, you got three cards in the box and you got a false box top, which you've already made. The one pair you've got left, stick one of them on top of the packet, followed by your box top, and make sure that it's pointing in the same direction, because you don't want to be sticking that onto the box looking that way. Looks a bit silly. So make sure that you've got that to the correct orientation. And make sure that you've got the back of the card facing up. On top of that, you stick two of the other tens, but the one that you've got the duplicate for, you don't put on. So you stick that one on, the box top, the other two tens to the duplicate, they go on the top. You stick any one of your jacks on the top, followed by the duplicate ten on the top, or whatever card you're using, right? And these three jokers, these three jokers, well, they are bloody jokers, aren't they, the jacks? What we'll do is we'll just lose them anywhere in the middle of the packet, because these are three cards you pull out as your prediction. Are you with me up to now? Yeah, good. Right. What you do is you say you're going to do a prediction trick or a double prediction trick or whatever you want to say. I'm not giving you no spiel. My, that's just my little performance there. What you do is you say you're going to make a prediction. So you're going to look through the packet and take out three cards to be your prediction. So you just go through the packet and then just up jog the three jacks as you come to them. Um, make, a, make a look as if you're giving a bit of thought about the cards. The three jacks. right? And you take them out but you don't let anyone see them. And you put them down to one side. Okay, so they're out the way now. Now, if you want to do false shuffles, did I turn that back over? No, I didn't. If you want to do a false shuffle like what I done, all you're doing is taking some cards from the back, making sure you don't touch that top stock. And as you put them down, you just grip that packet and pulling it back up again. So they go down. There's that packet there at the back. There, as you see it hanging out. And you just shuffle off. Yeah, you just shuffle off until you get to that packet. I'll do that again because that was pretty crap. So you just shuffle them off. Make sure you keep a tight grip on them. So none of the cards slide off the top. And you do a little false shuffle. Then you say you need them to pick a card. Whatever you want to do to force that top card onto them, do. But make sure you do not alter the top of the packet. So if you want to do that kind of a ripple force, okay, there we go, and give them it that way, you can do. If you want to do the slip cut like I done, you're just slipping it off. But as you're slipping it off, you're turning your hand over and peeling it out. So it looks like one fluid motion. Stop, there, bang, gone down, put the pack back together the way it was. Um, you can make a little joke about that and not matching them if you want to, you don't have to. Nah, you don't. Then force the next card, again, whatever way you want to, so you force that card onto them. That then leaves you with two tens on the top. Now the way i done it, you've probably seen, seen what i done. i done a slip cut, which separates the packs apart. And then as I'm putting them back together and I'm squaring them up, I'm just pulling up. And then back to them two cards at the back to catch a little pinky break underneath them two tens. Right, so you've got a little pinky break there. 
take up the three cards, deal them one by one onto the packet, and then as you square up, you're stealing them two cards. So you've got the three jacks there, as you're squaring them up, you're taking away them two tens with them. Then put the packet down. That should be, get off, get off. That should be your gaffed card now. Yeah, the box. Right? So that's on the top. You pick up the ten. That's ripped off. Then I do well on the performance. Oh, my spins are getting better. Pick the ten up, put it on top. Do whatever you want to do. You turn over and you do an elderly count. One, two, and three tens. And there was the ten that they started with, the ten of hearts. Turn and face down. Now you're taking off now the three jacks. So you've got a load of cards. And then I said the sugar word again. So you just say, I'll take my three predictions back and put them down. Flip it over to show the ten. Stick it on top of that. And say, to make sure you can't touch it, you're going to put the box on the top. And just put it on the top. And the magnets will square up. So when you pick it up, you're going to stall them three tens with it, right? So they've gone on top of the packet. Yeah, the, the packet, yeah. <clears throat> you pick the jack up, you pick the cards up. Do whatever you want to do, but you get the same result. You turn it over. Again, do an empty count. One, two, and three jacks with... Oh, that, that hit that finger. That would have been a good one. That. I'm not even going to attempt it now. That leaves you with the other jack. And you can clearly show that it is just four jacks as you're putting them down. They're accusing you of putting them on the top. Pick the box up and put it down that way. They see nothing. You can show them that the top card is the ten of hearts, which they've seen you putting onto the packet. But the next couple of cards are not tens. Spread it out, show there's not a single ten in the packet, which there shouldn't be. Get the box again, open it up, slip out three cards, show box empty, pick cards up, turn over, show tens, and everybody goes rather crazy. You never know, you might even get some woman throwing her knickers at you. If they do, duck. Yeah. They've done that to me once, but might sure they put a brick inside them first. Right, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Get a couple of duplicate cards. Go and, go and, see, go and check that link out, Gaft Academy. Learn how to make one of them. Otherwise, well, you can't do the trick to the full extent. Because the trick normally finishes when you've dumped them on the top of the packet. But then somebody looks at the packet and you're blown. This is a nice way to clean up. Thank you very much, Gaft Academy. A nice way to clean up. There was no other way of doing it. Right. Give us some practice. Have a little go. Uh, thanks for watching. And thank you very much, uh, Will Magic Man, for the excellent comments you're leaving. And I definitely hope you did find your digestive. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, I'll see you again soon.